Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to working on beautiful newborn baby sit. So uh, in this tutorial, I am going to make a baby dress, hat and booties. Ruffled border. Okay, this is a very easy and prettiest pattern, very unique pattern too. And this is a beginner's pattern. Okay, so this is the booty I have made for this dress. So two booties I have made and one hat. Okay, so cute little baby set. So I'm going to release by part one, part two like that. Okay, so these two booty and this is little hat for the baby. Okay, so let us start working on the tutorial now. I have added subtitles on every screen. Okay. And before watching this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and click notification bell icon to get updates about all my projects. Daily, I am uploading crochet stitches and lot of things in my channel. So, and I have given my Insta link and Facebook link in the description. You can follow me in Insta and Facebook. Okay, so we can start working on the tutorial now. For this project, I am using this snuggly wuggly yarn. This is a three ply yarn, baby yarn 100% acrylic this is the color code they have mentioned okay and um, I am using E 3.5 mm hook for the project you can use any 3 play yarn or 4 play yarn and you can use based on the hook size first you have to make a slip knot to start with the project you can use 4 mm 5 mm hook for the big size dress okay so now you have to make 63 chains so like this you have to continue making 63 chains i have completed 63 chains now we have to start row one skip four chains one two three four in the fifth chain make a double crochet so make double crochet in every chain till the end of this row you will get 60 double crochet in this row so just continue making a double crochet in every chains like this double crochet so like this you just continue making like this till end so I have completed row 1 now I am going to make double crochet in the last stitch okay 60 double crochet make sure you should get 60 double crochet now chain 3 turn your work make double crochet in the next stitch and then 2 double crochet in the next this is the increase row so 2 double crochet in the next and then double crochet in next 2 stitches So one double crochet, one double crochet, then in the next stitch make two double crochet, one, two, and then in the next two stitches make one one double crochet. So double crochet, double crochet and then in the next stitch make two double crochet. So you have to repeat the pattern. One double crochet in two stitches and then two double crochet. So double crochet, double crochet, two double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, two double crochet. This you have to repeat till the end of this row. So you should get 80 double crochet at the end. Okay. 
so just continue making double crochet double crochet two double crochet till end so I have completed see here at the end I am going to make two double crochet in the next stitch so one two and then double crochet in next two stitches one and double crochet so in the last stitch in the last chain stitch you have to make a two double crochet so you have to finish with two double crochet like this this is the row two and then row three okay so you should get 80 double crochet in this row now chain three turn your work make a double crochet in next two stitches so the chain three considers one double crochet so double crochet and then double crochet again in the next stitch so chain three considers one double crochet totally three double crochet and then in the next stitch make two double crochet so double crochet in three stitches then two double crochet double crochet in three stitches then two double crochet this is the pattern now double crochet in first stitch double crochet in second stitch and double crochet in third stitch and then in the next stitch make two double crochet so you have to repeat the pattern like this double crochet three stitches and then two double crochet then double crochet three stitches two double crochet so this round you will get 100 double crochet at the end of this row okay like this you just continue double crochet three stitches two double crochet so I have completed now at the end so I finished with two double crochet now so I am going to make another uh, double crochet three stitches so double crochet double crochet double crochet and then in the last stitch you have to make two double crochet so you always finish with two double crochet at the end so you should get 100 double crochet so we have completed three rounds so it should be like this this is the neck yoke of the baby okay now row four so now you have to join the other end with the slip stitch like this so you had to insert the hook in the first stitch like this and then pull the yarn make a slip stitch okay now we can start off fourth row chain three double crochet in next three stitches chain three considers one double crochet so four double crochet two three and then four so double crochet in four stitches and then in the next stitch two double crochet so chain three considers one double crochet so now next stitch two double crochet so one two and then in the next four stitches make one double crochet each so one this is the first double crochet second double crochet third double crochet and fourth double crochet and then make two double crochet in the next stitch so this is the pattern of the fourth row 
double crochet in four stitches to double crochet in the next double crochet in four stitches to double crochet just continue till the end so I have completed now I have completed with the two double crochet in the last right so now I am going to make a double crochet in four stitches so one two three and then four next stitch you have to make two double crochet so this round you should get 120 double crochet and then slip stitch to finish this round so four rows completed so almost we have finished the neck yoke now we have to start working on the uh, sleeve part you have to divide the sleeve now okay for that chain 3 start with our chain 3 1 2 3 double crochet in next to 14 stitches okay please keep in mind this the chain 3 considers one double crochet so totally we need to make 15 double crochet in 15 stitches so this is fourth double crochet and then fifth double crochet so you need to make 10 more double crochet okay so totally from the chain 3 you have to make 15 double crochets so I have completed 15 double crochet which includes chain 3 as a double crochet so 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so 15 double crochet I have made now make a chain 2 so skip 30 stitches to 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 so 30 stitches we have to skip in the 31st stitch you have to make a double crochet so skip 30 stitches in the 31st stitch make a double crochet so this is the first sleeve of the dress so this is the first double crochet of the back side right so we have created a first sleeve now now we have started with one double crochet so continue making one double crochet in next 29 stitches totally we need to make 30 double crochet in 30 stitches so three this is fourth double crochet like this you have to continue 30 double crochet so I have completed 30 double crochets now okay now again we have to create a sleeve for that chain 2 skip 30 stitches again so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So in the 31st stitch make a double crochet. This is the main part of the dress. Okay, so you have to do it exactly. This is the first double crochet of the front right side. Okay, so we have created second sleeve. Now we have to start working on double crochet in remaining all stitches so 15 double crochet you should get so this is the first and this is the second double crochet and third double crochet like this you have to continue making 15 double crochet so fourth double crochet you just continue till end so i've completed 15 double crochets this is the last two double crochet i'm going to finish it so 14 and 15 now slip stitch to finish this round so we have created a sleeve so you note down the exact count of the um, sleeve part 
that is the main thing of the dress so that you should get even spaces of the both the sides and this is the back side and this is the front side of the dress so from next row onwards we can start working on the pattern so far we have completed five rows right so from sixth row onwards we can start working on the pattern one two three four five five rows we have completed and fifth row we have created two sleeve and also one more thing in the fifth row you should get 60 double crochets okay so we have skipped to skip 60 stitches right 30 30 so totally we will get 60 double crochets now we have to start sixth row for that chain three make a double crochet in next stitch so just make a double crochet in every stitch till you reach the sleeve portion till here so I've completed now I'm going to make a double crochet here and then in the sleeve chain you have to make two double crochet so one and two and then continue making double crochet in every stitch till you reach the next sleeve double crochet in every stitch like this till next sleeve here so I've completed now I'm going to make a double crochet and then in the chain two space make two double crochet and then double crochet in remaining all the stitches so you should get 64 double crochet so for the pattern uh, you need the chain should be multiples of four okay the stitches to, should be multiples of four just continue till the end so for the sixth row whatever size you can make but for the sixth row you have to uh, get the stitches that stitch should be multiples of four that you make sure so now we have got 64 double crochets okay now chain one front post double crochet in the same stitch double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next and then in the next stitch make two double crochet here two double crochet so one two two double crochet in the same stitch the same increase and then in the next stitch make one double crochet so and then double crochet two double crochet double crochet and then in the next stitch make a one front post double crochet so this is the pattern of this seventh row the same pattern you have to repeat so double crochet two double crochet one two and then double crochet then the next stitch make a front post double crochet now double crochet two double crochet and then double crochet the next stitch make a front post double crochet so you have to repeat the pattern front post double crochet double crochet two double crochet double crochet again front post double crochet like this you have to continue till the end of this round so i have completed now i am going to make double crochet two double crochet and then double crochet now slip stitch to finish this round so this is the row 7 pattern and then row 8 chain 1 front post double crochet in the same stitch 
and then double crochet in next to four stitches so one double crochet and then double crochet in the second stitch one double crochet in the third stitch and double crochet in the fourth stitch now the next stitch make a front post double crochet then double crochet in next to four stitches so one two three four and then front post double crochet in the next stitch so you have to repeat so double crochet in four stitches one double one front post double crochet in the next stitch double crochet double crochet double crochet again and then double crochet so in the next stitch make a front post double crochet so you have to repeat with the same pattern just complete this row and next row also the same with the same pattern row 9 also you have to complete like so like similar pattern front post double crochet in four stitches front post like that you have to uh, complete with the next round also so row 10 i will explain so i have completed till row 9 now you have to here 7 8 and 9 right now you have to make a slip stitch to finish this round now you have to start it with the 10th round so chain one front post double crochet in the same stitch and then double crochet in the next stitch you have to increase now so and then in the next stitch make two double crochet and then one double crochet in the next stitch and then again make one double crochet in the next stitch make a front post double crochet so double crochet two double crochet double crochet double crochet so four double crochets you have to increase with five double crochet right this row so for that five double crochet you have to increase in the second double crochet every second double crochet you have to make two two double crochet so now double crochet in the next stitch and then two double crochet in the next so one two and then double crochet in next two stitches this is the pattern of 10th row make the double crochet two double crochet double crochet double crochet and then make a front post double crochet now again double crochet two double crochet and then double crochet double crochet make a front post double crochet so you have to repeat the pattern like this so you have to increase two double crochet in every second double crochets continue till end so i have completed now i am going to make double crochet and then two double crochet and then double crochet next is that double crochet now make a slip stitch to finish this round so row 10 completed and then row 11 chain 1 front post double crochet in the same stitch make a double crochet in next to 5 stitches here so 1 double crochet in each double crochet so 1 and then two, three, four, five. 
front post double crochet in the next stitch okay double crochet in five stitches so one two three four five make front post double crochet in the next stitch so you have to repeat like this till the end of this row so double crochet in five stitches one two three four five make a front post double crochet in the next stitch okay so like that you just continue till the end so I have completed now I have to make double crochet in five stitches so double crochet one two three four and five then make a slip stitch to finish this round so we have completed 11 rows now row 12 chain 1 and post double crochet in the same stitch now this is the increase row so you have to make double crochet in next to two stitches so one double crochet and then again one double crochet in the next stitch and then in the next stitch make two double crochet so one and two in the same stitch and then make one double crochet in next to two stitches so you have to increase two double crochet in every middle third double crochet okay and then front post double crochet in the next so front post two double then two double again front post double double and then make a front post double crochet and then double crochet double crochet two double crochet so one two and then double 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 crochet double crochet make a front post double crochet in the next stitch then double crochet double crochet two double crochet and then double crochet double crochet then front post to double crochet okay like this pattern you have to continue till end so i have completed now double crochet in the next stitch slip stitch to finish this round so far we have completed 12 rows now 13th row chain 1 front post double crochet in the same stitch double crochet in next 6 stitches so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 then make a front post double crochet in the next stitch and then again double crochet in next 6 stitches so 1 2 3 4 5 6 
make a front post double crochet in the next stitch so like that you have to continue complete this row and make the same pattern for the next two rows row 14 and row 15 so I have completed 15 rows this is the 15th row so this one 12, 14, 15. now make a double crochet and then double crochet so 15 rows completed slip stitch to finish this round now we have start with 16th row chain 1 front post double crochet in the same stitch now double crochet in next two stitches so 1 2 and then in the next stitch make two double crochet so you have to increase two double crochet in every third stitch of this row now make a double crochet then double crochet third stitch and then make a double crochet then double crochet again then front post double crochet now again double crochet double crochet two double crochet then double crochet double crochet double crochet then front post double crochet in the next stitch so double double two double 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 then front post double crochet just repeat the pattern till the end of this row and then you have to complete next row till row 20 you just to complete with the same pattern okay front post double crochet seven double crochet front post double crochet like that you have to repeat till row 20 four more rows you need to complete okay so I have completed 20 rows now see here 20 rows 16 17 18 19 20 okay then make a double crochet then slip stitch to finish this round now we have start working on 21st row for that chain 3 1 2 3 skip 2 stitches 1 2 and then in the next stitch make a single crochet and then chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 skip 2 stitches 1 2 and then in the next stitch make a single crochet and then chain 3 it should be alternative chain 3 chain 5 chain 3 chain 5 but skipping two stitches always keeping two stitches and make a single crochet and then chain five skip two stitches make a single crochet chain three one two three skip two stitches make a single crochet and then chain five so you have to repeat like this skip two stitches make a single crochet in the next like that you have to repeat chain 3 chain 5 chain 3 chain 5 skipping two stitches make a single crochet you have to repeat till the end of this row so I have completed now last chain 3 here you have to skip three stitches 1 2 3 and in the next stitch make a single crochet then again skip three stitches chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 skip 3 stitches okay so you don't need to worry about this after you're completing you don't uh, see the space Sing, slip stitch in the first chain to finish this row so we have completed till row 21 now row 22 chain 1 in the next chain 3 space make a single crochet and then in the chain 5 space here you have to make a 9 double crochets so 1 2 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine double crochets and then in the next chain three space make a single crochet and the next chain five space make nine double crochet so one two three four five six seven eight and then nine then make a single crochet in the chain three space you have to repeat like this till the end okay so in the next chain five space make nine double crochet and then chain three space make single crochet so one two three four five Six, seven, eight, and nine. Then make a single crochet in the next chain three space. So next we will be continuing in the part two. We just complete this round till the end. Okay. Next chain five. You have to make nine double crochet and then single crochet. So like that you have to continue and in the part 2 we will be com continuing a ruffle work and then sleeve and then front side pom pom okay and then booty hat everything will come under part 2. So thank you very much.